everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show oh. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you three of my favorite breakfasts at this moment. Now these are things that I can make in a different variety of flavors all the time. Yeah, let's just go to the kitchen. The macros are very good as well, by the way. It's always high in protein and some of my favorites ever. So let's just, without further ado, go to the kitchen and uh, let's get to cooking. And also the recipes are like super, super easy so anyone can make this, okay? One of the first things I'm going to make is baked oats. Now, I know you guys have seen this everywhere, right? Because the last year baked oats was basically everyone's social media breakfast and everything. And there were tons of recipes, but I made my own twist to it because it's becoming autumn and I always have a change of taste in my breakfast as well. So I'm going to make my baked oats, a la nosli, um, but then pumpkin spiced baked oats with chocolate chips and everything. What you will be needing are oats, of course. I will put the translation into the screen because I have no idea what this is in English. We have some salt, I have chocolate chips, especially for things in the oven, some baking powder, an egg. I have pumpkin puree. Now, if you can make it fresh, please do, but I only have this one for today and I'm gonna use a date. I've already put the oven on, by the way, so that's heating up. I am going to use a blender cup. Everyone always asks me which blender I have. It's from Nutribullet. It's not sponsored at all, but I know I'm gonna get the question again. First things first, I have pumpkin puree. Now, like I said, you can make this easily at home, but if you don't have the time for it, it's easy to buy it in the store as well. I'm going to use one spoon of that. Then of course, the star of the show, 50 grams of oats. A pinch of salt. And all the salt does, to be honest, is just enhance all the flavors that were already in there. So don't worry, it's not gonna be salty. <laughs> I had to learn that back in the day as well, but I was like, why are people using salt in their food? But it's always better. Then I'm going to get these. I'm gonna put a pinch of that in here and that's gonna give it all the flavor. Now the baking powder is an option, okay? But I do know that if I don't put it in, it most of the time turns out as a little bit of a flat cake kind of thing. And I really like my baked oats to be like round and fluffy. So I'm just going to put one teaspoon in that. That's all you will need. Of course, one egg. Now to make the baked oats really sweet, um, I'm using one date, really nothing, but these things are so sweet that they will sweeten up your entire dish and it also contains a lot of fiber. Please do not put your chocolate chips in there in the blender because those need to be on top of it, okay? So we're gonna leave that to the side and I totally forgot. Add a hint of almond milk, normal milk, whatever you want, okay? Just to make it a little bit more smooth. Alrighty then. All you have to do is blend it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me today, but I didn't sleep that well last night and I'm forgetting all kinds of things. So please don't forget to add a scoop of whey protein in there. You can add any kind of flavor you want, but um, vanilla in general or cinnamon really complements the baked oats on its own. So today I'm going to take cinnamon and I'm gonna put it back on the blender, okay? <laughs> Oops. For the ones who are curious, by the way, I'm using ESN cinnamon cereal and it gives a really lovely cinnamon flavor to the baked oats. Okay, again. <laughs> I always use a tiny bucket like this, but you can basically use anything that can go into the oven. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a spray and then I'm gonna pour in the mixture. Now all you will need to do now is just add some sprinkles on top and it's ready to go into the oven. Will you look at this? My baked oats just popped out of the oven and as you can see, it has risen a lot because there was only a tiny bit of batter in the bottom. And this is exactly why I put a little bit of baking powder in it. As it is still very hot, I wrapped a towel around it, but I just want to show you what it looks like on the inside. <gasps> oh, yum. It's really like this big fluffy cloud of goodness. And this is what it looks like. Oh, and the melting chocolate on top will add in a little bit of chocolate on the inside as well when you scoop it. 
So this is my ideal breakfast. I can eat this every day. For the next recipe, you're gonna be needing one big tortilla. I have half an avocado, one egg. You can use as many eggs as you want, of course. I'm gonna be using some spinach and the salt, pepper, and I have shredded mozzarella cheese. I was kind of thinking like why my mind is so scattered at the moment and I forget everything. But if I think about it, like I haven't been sleeping well whatsoever the last few weeks. Um, I have a lot of stress. For the people who don't know, I got a surgery that put me back like a lot in my fitness journey. So kind of logical but every time when something like this happens i always put it on myself in the first place and then i think about it and i'm like oh no wait it's kind of logical so if i feel a little bit off in this video you know exactly why your girl just needs some time okay but i love making videos so i didn't want to like skip out on this let's just continue cooking okay i'm gonna put my pan on medium heat I always use some cooking spray, by the way. Um, you have it from olive oil to coconut oil. I think you even have avocado oil, but that's only in foreign countries, so not in the Netherlands. So if you have cooking spray, use that. While that is warming, I'm going to put one egg in a bowl. And like I said, you can use as many eggs as you want to. Today I'm using one, but this is also very doable with three eggs, maybe even four, two, whatever you want. Mix that up, I put some pepper in it, a little bit of salt, some spinach, and I'm making sure that all the spinach is a little bit coated in the egg so I can bake it evenly. Then all of that is going to go into a pan. While that is still cooking, I let it be dry a little bit, but then instantly I put over a full tortilla and I'm just gonna press that. You hear that sizzling? <laughs> I love this recipe. When you feel that it's loose from the pan, you can carefully flip it. You have an instant omelette tortilla wrap. As a topping, I will use some shredded mozzarella cheese. What I like to do in between is fold it like this, so the cheese has an opportunity to fully melt before I take it out of the pan. Here is my egg wrap, that's done. And to show you what it looks like on the inside, I'm gonna cut it open. Look at that. As you can see, it has those layers of spinach, egg, and cheese, and it's the perfect combo for a lovely, lovely breakfast. What I love to do is put my avocado on top. You can also choose to put it in there, but then it's gonna be warm, and I'm not sure if I like that combination. But of course, that's all up to you. So just scoop it out. And here you go. So I can just eat it with a fork. Yum. Last but not least, put a little bit of tahine over it. My breakfast is completely done. The last and final breakfast recipe is a matcha smoothie. Now I got some protein powder right here, which is vanilla. I got spinach, I have almond milk, my matcha powder. I froze some bananas. I always peel them beforehand and put them in little Ziploc bags like this. You need a whole one. And I'm gonna add some ice cubes. Now there are a lot of variations you can make with a smoothie like this because it's so simple. You can basically add any kind of fruit or vegetable you would want in the end, but this is my personal favorite. So I'm gonna start with almond milk. Again, you can use any kind of milk that you want, about 200 milliliters. Then I'm going to add my frozen banana and this is so handy because I absolutely love making smoothies and being fast with my food, but whenever I don't have frozen fruits, it just doesn't go that way. So frozen banana is amazing in that. I'm gonna use a whole one, taking a handful of spinach. Now this really complements with the matcha because the flavors are kind of similar in a way. Very greeny. I'm going to take matcha powder. And I think the first time I drank matcha, or I know so, was in Japan. Since then, I've been drinking matcha every single morning, okay? It has a lot of antioxidants in it, but also contains a little bit of caffeine. So in general, it's just a very nice boost in the morning, but also very good for your health. And by the way, I bought this very cute jar at Ikea. I love it for my matcha. Then adding to that the protein powder. And again, you can use whatever you like, but make sure it's a, a bland kind of protein because you do not want to add very heavily 
um, chemical flavors to this because that's just not nice. So I'm using a vanilla one, like I said, and it's already a little bit sweet. So that's more than enough. Now, personally, I love those very thick, creamy-ish kind of smoothie. So I always add in two ice cubes. The following things are again optional. That's why I didn't put them in the ingredients in the beginning. So it's not a must, but if you want to, I can highly recommend it. I'm taking some pumpkin seeds. I got this amazing hack from TikTok. In most recipes, you see that the chia seeds are gonna be added on top of it, right? But every time I was like, I need to wait until those things are soaked full and you know being bigger and what i do now i blend them with the smoothie itself which makes the smoothie on its own thicker because the chia seeds already took up all the moisture when they're in the smoothie so that was a great hack i learned from tiktok then i'm going to add some pink himalayan salt and again this is definitely optional but sometimes I like my smoothies a little bit more sweet when it's with matcha because matcha can be very bitter when you don't have that high grade quality matcha from Japan. I mean, it's super expensive. So I'm putting in a tiny dash of maple syrup. And one tip for me, if you're that sweet tooth who cannot have any smoothie or anything like very savorish, you can get some stevia in the store. You can add like a teaspoon of that to your smoothies and it's a natural sweetener, so it doesn't contain sugar at all, but it does um, give your smoothie a bit more of a sweet, soft taste. So that is also an option if you would like. Today, I'm just gonna try it out, why not? I've never done it myself in a matcha smoothie. I've tried it in different smoothies, but not this one. So let's just try it. Ah, life without a blender. Honestly, for me, that would not exist. Be very careful when opening this. <laughs> I've had so many times that I put too much force on it and it just, bruh, it just bursted everywhere. Look at the thickness and the smoothness of it. I love it. Oh, so good, so good, please. Try this, okay, of course, all the recipes, but this is also a really good one. Okay guys, here they are, my top three breakfasts of the last few weeks. Now, every breakfast, in my opinion, can be taken to work. Um, so you can just scoop it out and put it in a bucket. You can even eat this for lunch if you want to, it's all up to you. You can put this in a cup and take it with you on the train, on the bus, anywhere you can go. But every single one of them is high in protein and it contains a lot of vitamins and everything and that's why i think that this is a very good combo for you to try out the next few weeks so please tag me if you do on instagram at nosli or maybe on youtube wherever you want but um, please give it a try i love making recipes for you guys and i really hope that you got some inspiration out of it i think i'm just going to take one of them at least and just eat it i mean it's it's afternoon here in amsterdam but i can eat this any time of day so i hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye